For the airlines, it's been a summer filled with near misses, bird strikes, and bad behavior by crews and passengers alike. And we are learning tonight about a new air scare. A passenger jet made an emergency landing when the pilot reported a, quote, catastrophic electrical failure, so bad that the autopilot spontaneously turned off. ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila details what happened next. First clue of a problem for passengers on board Alaska Air 539 from Ontario, California to Seattle. A chorus of angry infants. All the babies were crying at the same time. <laughs> Ears popping plane wide as the 737 with 131 passengers and five crew momentarily loses enough cabin pressurization to cause a painful alert that something is wrong. My ears about blew up on me. Up in the cockpit, pilots send an emergency call from 25,000 feet asking for priority landing at San Jose Airport, telling controllers they are in the midst of a catastrophic electrical failure with loss of some flight controls and cabin pressure. The captain said, we're really sorry, but we have a problem with the uh, cabin pressure, but it's under control now. And I felt like the plane was going down, and sure enough, it was. An immediate but controlled descent. Pilots thinking the electrical system is malfunctioning. But mechanics later find it's a simple mechanical control near the landing gear, telling the plane it's on the ground, not flying, turning off pressurization and the autopilot. If it thinks it's on the ground, it's going to want to pull those throttles all the way back so that there's no more thrust coming out of the engine. Alaska Airs has a backup system immediately restored air pressure in the cabin. The oxygen masks were never deployed, and the pilots took the flight controls. And the systems are not working properly. He needs how to know how to manually fly that airplane and bring it back safely. It has been a summer of air scares. But in July, in, in fact, in June, uh, there was a problem at O'Hare where an American Airlines flight skipped off the runway because of a problem with its landing gear. And then on Las Vegas, a hydraulics problem sent a JetBlue airport airplane into emergency landing mode. But again, over the last two years, this has been a very safe period for aviation. No fatal accidents.